knows my heart beating Cause you are the reason I'm losing my sleep Please come back now There goes my mind racing And you are the reason That I'm still breathing I'm hopeless now I'd climb every mountain And swim every ocean Just to be with you Yes, I love the blessing I love the blessing But I got blessing
everyone. If your health permits you, I'm going to ask you to stand in reverence to Almighty God. Let us pray. Almighty God, everlasting Father, Prince of Peace, Rose of Sharon, Lily of the Valley, we come tonight on this joyous occasion to be with our brother tonight as we celebrate a milestone in his life. We realize, oh God, that so many have gone, never lived to see half his age, but oh God, you have granted this time of his life to be here in the land of the living. And for that, oh God, we thank you. We thank you for, time, for blessing Alvin. And as we, uh, Alvin serve, Alvin is always giving. And so tonight we thank you for him. Lord Jesus, you say in all thy ways we should acknowledge you. And you will direct our path. Heavenly Father, we ask your divine presence in our midst tonight. Whatever shall be said and done, let it to be your honor unto your glory. That even when we shall leave here tonight, we shall say it was good for us to be here. Bless each of and every one of us who come far and near to be on this special occasion. Father, I pray that you will bless the food, bless the cake, bless the event tonight, and sanctify it in the name of Jesus. And we thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 So next on the program, we have, even though we had a wonderful cocktail hour, believe it or not, we have more food in store for you. Um, they should be serving each table. So while we wait, we're going to ask anyone who wants to come up and just give a brief and I'm from the South, so I know how to cut you off politely. <laughs> Agree. And Mama Faye changed her So we're going to eat first. So check in with the waiters to make sure that everything is on par. Enjoy yourself. Conversate at the table. Thank you. Good night, everyone. Um, I've been smaller brother. Dean? Yeah. Um, I'm so honored to be here this evening to celebrate with you guys this life. I've been with my best friend, to say. We are confident. I mean, Every now and then we are on the phone for like sometimes just talking, talking about reminiscing about life, about our youth, even though he's 19 years my senior. But <laughs> <laughs> I still you know, we sit and we talk from time to time. I've been, as some may know, some may not know, I've been this type of person who you see. It's who you get. Now uh, what you see is what you get. I mean, if he's gonna tell you your eyes red, there's no two sides that. But to be honest, my brother, if he's gonna love you, there's nothing to come against him and loving you if he's gonna love you. So as I hear tonight, I want us to raise our glass. We just tell him how much we love him and we appreciate Alvin. Yeah, yeah. If, if he's gonna do something, he's gonna do his best. There's no two way around that. And if he's gonna get bad, <laughs> So as we raise our glass for our toast to my brother Alvin, bro, I wanna wish him many more years. Long life. I wish you see another 70 years. Yes, <laughs> 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 
Uh, Ms. Courtney, Mr. Courtney Simpson. And this is um, one of Alvin's friends and co-workers from Transit. I'm sure he has some stories for us, but... Uh-oh, he's coming prepared. Don't tell all the names. Watch him all get up. Good evening, everyone. I was planning to write a lot of stuff on this map. Oh, my God. And it's empty, so we just don't know we need. Uh, I met Alvin since he started working for the Transit Tunnel. And in a short while, we became very good friends. Just to follow what his son, his brother-in-law, his sister-in-law, and his what, what brother, I said, Alvin, what attracts me to Alvin is his openness and he's very frank. Like his, like his, like his brother said, if he's going to tell it, that the outside something is red, it is red. Trust and believe me because if you go against him, it's like going against a drug. <laughs> and you won't get it handed to you. But I love Alvin for his honesty, his frankness, his loyalty. And if he calls you a friend, you are a friend for life. Because he doesn't give over his friendship just like that. And you can tell that he's a person that is well liked, well loved by the amount of people that showed up for his birthday. I want to say retirement because he ain't ready to retire. Because <laughs> I, told, I told him last week, I said, you're not going to leave me here. He said, bro, I'm getting out of here. So if you want to follow me, you follow me. <laughs> I tell him, I'll be right here, my brother. Trust, I believe you. Because he said, if you stay, by the time you retire, next week you drop dead. <laughs> I tell you, I have no plans for that. <laughs> but from the bottom of my heart, my brother, to you and your wonderful right hand, because without you, there is no she, and without she, there is no she. Like I said, I love you. Happy, happy, happy birthday, my brother. And stay blessed. <laughs> My grandfather always told me not two people can tell the same lie. So all these great sentiments that are being poured onto him tonight it has to be the truth, right? So next we have Ms. Uh, Glenn Benton. He's pretty sharp tonight, isn't he? Thank you. Well, uh, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. good evening. It's really great that we are here tonight to celebrate a really, really great friend. I see we have family members, friends, and associates here tonight to celebrate someone special who was born, I think, in the parish of Trilon in Jamaica, yeah. not very long ago. <laughs> birthdays. I don't know what to say about birthdays. Most people celebrate birthdays every year. And so they have become passe. You know, it's like just a normal thing that you do. And um, we don't want to do that tonight. We want something really special tonight. And I see many of you here have come from afar because this is an important night and you recognize it as such. For me, I'm a member of the Homo Technical High School Past Events Association and many of us here are here tonight. Let me hear you. Uh, so hello. I met Alvin about 11 years ago when I became active in the Past Events Association and he was one of the first to sit me down to say, bro, we need your support. We've had challenges and we've had successes, but we need your support. 
And as, you, as you've heard the other speakers earlier tonight, the one thing I can tell you, I will, there's one word that pops in my head, is reliability. The most loyal, the most trustworthy, the most reliable. When you have organizations like a alumni association and you need people to do work, you need people to help for fundraisers and so on, and you go around and you say, will you do this, will you do that? You don't ask Alvin everything. He knows his role, he's gonna be there. You don't even have to ask him, he is there. The other thing that someone said earlier, Alvin, you may think he's stubborn, but he's just plain spoken. And the thing about it is, if you disagree with Alvin, you still will be his friend. You can agree to disagree. And the thing about it too, is that if you ever ask Alvin for anything, you can trust that Alvin is going to deliver. So, you know, I want to quote um, Edith Wharton. There are two ways to shine your light. One is direct from a candle or the mirror that reflects it. The one thing I found about Alvin, no matter what, is genuine and he's kind. So with that said, I want to digress a little bit because we're here tonight, wonderful occasion. I will be remiss if I don't point out this wonderful lady, this lovely one. And you can bet she's the chief architect of what's happening here tonight. <laughs> so, Faye, congrats. And before we go, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like you to stand as we offer a toast to Alvin for God's richest blessing. Many more holidays. Many more birthdays and a long, long, happy married life. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. That was beautiful. Next, we will have a few words from this beautiful queen to my left here. His wife, his princess, his baby. It's his his boobie. His everything. <laughs> Faye Edwards.
when he was just courting this beautiful lady. <laughs> Almost every evening, you see this man with two Trader Joe's bags. <laughs> Oh, maybe I'm not the right for pay, but all I know is this woman will never be hungry. <laughs> <laughs> but Uncle Al, I've grown to respect you as an uncle. Um, I've, I've not had a lot of men in my life. No, I have Steve over there, but for you, you're a man of discipline, hard work, no nonsense, and you have good vibes. If you go on a boat trip with Uncle Albert, you won't be thirsty. Trust me. <laughs> and I have to applaud this beautiful woman for the smile on this man's face. And vice versa. Uncle Al, keep on caring for our Auntie Faye. Auntie Faye, keep on letting this man get you younger and younger and younger. <laughs> and you both deserve all the happiness life has to offer. Uncle Al, big up your nice clean self. <laughs> I love you. Auntie Faye, I love you and I wish you God richest blessing. Loves you, loves you. 
when don't ever make this man your enemy because you trust him, he'll cut you off so <laughs> You know, Scorpio, you know? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey. so um, I love you, I truly do. Um, as the family knew, I lost my father. And it was at times that I did need a father, I did need a man in my life. And I'm not gonna lie, I don't know where Uncle Ben stood up. There are times that even though we live close, there are times I thought, you know, let me go see Uncle Ben's, or Uncle Ben's, hey, come, let's go have a drink. And I tell you, he was the person I needed, the person that, you know, give me a kick when I needed it, give me a, a talk when I needed it, was to show me love when I needed it. And I tell you, you were a great man, anti-faith, my friend. <laughs> You definitely, and I'm so happy for both of you, that you've made this man one of the happiest people I've met in my life. I've never met, I've never seen Uncle Ben so happy in my life. And you truly are the shining star in his life. So I hope, God willing, you both get to see many more years together. Happy birthday, Uncle Ben, many, many more. Now you too. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Good night. Hi, Vin. Thank you for a couple years well now. And as a Scorpio, like yourself, you are hard workers. You try to see two organizations. And like I say, two or three people don't tell the same lie. All and I just want to wish you good health, long life, and happiness. And not because you're 70 and I don't reach it yet, you must still come by <laughs> and have a drink with the young woman. Okay? <laughs>
One more, the lucky finale. You do. Good evening, everyone. So my name is Sel. I'm Mr. Ivan. I met Alvin probably about 25 years ago when we moved to New York. Now, I'm not a very religious person. But I have to tell you something. This man is my savior. <laughs> I'll tell you why. And you keep me cool, and you keep me warm. <laughs> You know, a man isn't what he does for a living. It's what's born, what's inbred in him from, from birth. This man has taught me in the last 11 years to let your yes be your yes, and your no be your no. And it doesn't matter what you say, it's what you do. So I want to thank you for that lesson. I was already a hard worker, but you know, when I hear that you're working two jobs, I have to at least stay at my job for 14 hours. <laughs> Can't let a 70 year old outdo me. But he makes my mother in law a better person, stronger, because she, she needs his strength. And I just can't thank him enough for being a part of my life. Thank you, Dad. But now we're going to hear from him. He wants to thank all of you for your attendance and your work. Well, first of all, um, I would like to thank the Almighty for all these years on this earth. You know, when I was a little kid going to Sunday school, a lot of people here and there, he really go to Sunday school. <laughs> yes, I did go to Sunday school. And I remember a verse in the Bible, I think it's Psalms 90, 20, Psalms 90, verses 10, that says, it mentioned about three scores and ten. Right, three scores and ten is seven. We got one score is 20. And I said, wow, I wonder what, would, what that would look like. Oh my God. <laughs> Imagine, I'm a testament to three scores and 10. <laughs> wow. And the Bible really says that you might live for greater good with the blessing of the Almighty. I might leave an extra score and probably an extra 10. So, you know what I mean? It costs a hundred. <laughs> so, so, let's 
give thanks to everybody who showed up today. Right? I was I want to mention some people, but the first one I want to mention is my beautiful wife. Yes. 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 I didn't forget my sister, my brother, and my grandkids. What honey? Well, all this thing is she's the architect. For all that you see happening here tonight. Because when I said, how far can you, how far are you willing to go? She said, as far as it takes. So I said, okay. So I said, so where were you all these years when I was, you know, searching? But I guess I stopped searching now, right? That's right. Okay, so honey, you have done well. I'm happy of what I, because I always ask, ask you know, how is this? She said, it's a secret. It's a secret. You're not supposed to ask. This is supposed to be a secret. I, uh, some of my past students said, I thought your birthday was a secret. <laughs> I, spoke to, I, I spoke to the president the other day. She said, but the president was trying to use her head because somebody said that my birthday is a secret. Right? So, so how is the secret that you know about it? She said, <laughs> somebody said, well, it's a secret no more because I've been inviting people to the party. So all my co-workers, all my co-workers from my job, I invited them. So if it's a secret, oh, I invited them. So, it's not a secret. So again, honey, thanks for everything. I wanna, I wanna think. I wanna. She's really an architect, but there are some people who works alongside her with Javine, Dr. Smith, Paul, Paulette. You know, or a prayer warrior. You know, from and, and even here, yeah, we don't. If if, prayer, if if Paul is not saying the prayer, you, know, you can't forget about it. <laughs> yeah. Because sometimes I say, can you write me some prayers? Sometimes because it looks like she doesn't know how to say the perfect prayer for the perfect occasion. You know, so I, I want to thank all of you for coming. You know, my sister, my brother, all the way from Cayman Island. My grandson, at least I have four of my grandkids here tonight, I have four of them, but only two showing up here tonight. My son, my one and only son. We love you, Papa. My brother from the island. My nieces, my nephew. I mean, sometimes, some, some know me as Uncle Bez, that's my pet. You know in the Caribbean, you have, you have your real name and you have your pet name. I don't know that come about, but I end up with a pet name. <laughs> right? We call it, in Jamaica we call it pet name. So your name on your birth certificate is not your, is not your pet name. That's your real name. So sometimes I say they call you by a name and say Alvin. They say, who is Alvin? <laughs> so that's how it goes. So my nieces, my nephew, my co-workers, my alumni friends and family, you know, and everybody who is here tonight. I hope you enjoy yourself. Thanks again for coming. I, I don't want to take up too much time because we have to get a little dancing before, before we go. You see, you see Auntie Marty said she dance, she wants to dance already. All right. So again, we want to take the, we want to thank the caterers for the good work that they have done. Thanks again for having us. And thanks for you for the also. And my DJ over there, Mr. Prentice, my MC over here. Yo yo, you know you, you know we roll already, and, and everybody those I mentioned, I don't know that those I did not mention who come from near and far. Enjoy yourself. We are here for tonight, and the birthday. I'm now officially seventy. And we can't have a birthday without a birthday cake. So let's. He's gonna cut the cake, and I think he wants his grandchildren to join him. Yes, for come on. Thank you. 
Thank you. 